All right, Shalom all. I want to start off giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, by Hashem, by Hashem, by Hashem, by Hashem, double honors to the apostles and others who have passed on peace and blessings and salutations to the sincere Akim, worldwide wish you heard and all truth and sincerity. The righteous brother Yah Rock, back once again, and uh, this is going to Second Ezra, Second Ezra, uh, chapter 9. All right, so uh, this is Second Ezra, chapter 9 and 1. It says, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Okay, so it said, measure thou the time diligently itself okay so right we supposed to measure the times man okay and how do we do that all right we go according to the prophecies man that was written in the scriptures man okay with everything that's taking place all right all the things that's been happening you know what i'm saying which was written in the scriptures man all right that's what how you measure the times man okay and we know that hey we in a time of a transition of uh Esau's kingdom, you know, being transferred to uh, to uh, to Israel, man. Okay, we so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. Okay, we seeing this place is on the verge of destruction, man. Okay, so once again it says, measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass. Which I have told thee before, thou shall then thou shall understand that it is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Okay, so right, our Lord uh, and Savior Yahweh Shah is on his way back, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? We in that time, man. All right. Uh. Real quick, this is Ephesians chapter 5 and 14. Wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead, and Yahweh Shah shall give thee life. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Right. See then that you walk circumspectly. All right. Not as fools, but as wise, man. Okay. Being circumspect. All right. Paying attention to what the hell's going on, man. All right. You see what I'm saying? Measuring the time. All right? It says, hey, redeeming the time because the days are evil. All right? Right, the days are evil, meaning evil meaning bad times. All right? Which is apparent, man. We, you know, we in bad times, man. You see? You know? The most eyes uh jacking this place up, man. You see? So, uh, Hey, verse 17 says, Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Okay. And what is the will of the Lord, man? All right. It's to destroy this place and deliver his uh his elect. All right, the hundred and forty-four and one third of the nation of Israel. All right, and ultimately, you know, all of Israel will get the kingdom. Okay. You see? So you got all two-thirds of our people still fighting for equality still fighting for equal rights all right still fighting for so-called justice uh from from our enemy all right you know still fighting to uh to go to the polls and vote to get the right person in the office you know what i'm saying hey man y'all y'all walking as fools man okay y'all been singing that same song for uh for all this time all right and get nowhere man okay but this song this is the new song okay but y'all ain't dancing to this tune, you see, the right way, okay? Like, uh, I believe Yahweh Shah said, we have piped unto you, but you have not moved, man. You, not, you have not danced, man, okay? You see? So, uh, yeah, man, going back to 2 Ezra 9, 2 Ezra 9 and uh, verse uh, 3, it says, Therefore, 
when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that it that the most high spoke of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Okay. So right. You know, earthquakes in diverse places, uproars of the people, okay? Different various signs that the Lord uh said was gonna happen, man. Alright. Uh Okay, verse 5, it says, For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Right. The end of what? Okay? The end of this age. Okay? The end of the current rulers of this age, man. All right? Which is the so-called white man, all right? You know what I'm saying? His kingdom is coming towards an end, man. All right? You know what I'm saying? We seeing how Babylon is functioning right now, man. All right, everything is in a state of chaos, man. You see, financially, this place is, is, is on the downfall. You see, you know what I'm saying? This place is whack, man. All right? <laughs> Got the other nations rising up. You see, against this uh, against this place, man. You see? You know? So, yeah, we, man, we witnessing the, uh, shit, we witnessing the beginning of the end of this place, man. All right? So, uh, it says, verse 6, Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings in effects and signs. All right. Verse 7 says, And everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. Okay. So, right. The scriptures speak about uh, the time of Jacob's trouble, man. All right, which is uh, it's going to take place, man. Okay, a time that's going to be real bad, man. All right, where it's going to be uh, a famine, lack of food. You see what I'm saying? Sedition amongst men, people, shit, taking each other out. You know what I'm saying? All right, it's going to be a a terrible, terrible time, man. Okay, and it said. Uh, 2nd Ezra 9 and 7 and everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by faith where, whereby ye have believed okay and you know what I'm saying <laughs> people like to say oh, I'm saved you know what I'm saying what are you saved from man alright you ain't saved you know what I'm saying it said those that uh, shall be saved shall be saved by, they, by faith alright uh, shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, all right? Whereby you have believed, shall be preserved from the said peril, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them from the beginning, okay? Now, who is that talking about? That's talking about the elect, man, okay? They have been ordained by the most high power, man. Okay, to uh to be saved uh during that time, man. Okay. So uh verse nine, all right, it says, Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away uh despitefully shall dwell in torments. Okay, right, you two-thirds uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. All right, they cast the ways of the most high power behind you. All right, didn't take heed to the men of the Lord on the highways and byways. All right, you see, it said they should dwell in torments. All right, for such, verse 10, for such as in their life, have received benefits and have not known me right. All right. Uh, yeah. You know, for taking the ways of Babylon. All right. For taking the Esau's, you know, doctrine, the system, you see, being, uh, being at ease. All right. Uh, it says, 
verse 10, 2 Ezra 9 and 10, for such as in the life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law, while they yet, while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not but despised it. Exactly. You know, you see what I'm saying? So, hey, the men of the Lord been out. You know what I'm saying? Week in, week out, uh, on the highways and byways, via the, uh, you know, internet, pushing out lessons, videos. All right, 